Alright, if you play the end of the last video, and then play the start of this one, I'm standing in the same spot. Yeah, so last time we searched around here, we got some cool stuff. I think everyone got a weapon upgrade in the same episode. And we got some codes, and we did some stuff, and now we're gonna do more stuff, and we're gonna look around. There's probably the big security door. This room is huge. I'm assuming we go in there after we do this, but let's open the chest first, obviously. Ooh, plasma gun. We changed the background just to keep it fresh. Plus, this, for some reason, this background for the uh, for the menu just screams Vagrant Story at me. I don't even think it should. But I just, I remember a lot of tile floors in that game. So it's just, that's, I, I feel it. I'm probably the only one. Oh, door lock system Zabby operational, enter password. Are we good? You flutter those eyelashes, Chrono. Oh, did the door open? Yeah, it did. I wasn't even looking. Boss time? I guess we could save, but it's like... What's the point? We already... Oh, it's right there. Derp. Switch right here. Yeah, we saved recently, so... But I'm assuming a boss. Like a defense system, right? Game's all mad at us. No one should be in here! Emergency. Security system has gone haywire. Must escape immediately. Gotta wait for Shadow! No, oh, run! Oh, don't do this. Don't sacrifice yourself. Hurry. Now. What a boss. See, Luca couldn't do that. It's a good thing we left her ass. Ooh, deploying. He's got, like, a super laser in there. There's more to this dude. This robot has more than meets the eye. What? I never got to see the top floor. Shit. I'll never know what goodies were up there. I mean, you can see it comes up right there. How do we get out of here? Oh, God. Hey. I'll be here disabled. Thankfully, no fights. Oh, we have to fight these, I bet. Oh, no, this is from the scene. They whoop his ass. The these are my friends. R64Y. R67Y. In R69Y, good to see you. <laughs> what are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Pardon. I'm malfunctioning. Affirmative. A defect. I am a defect. Have you forgotten our mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose. You shame us. You must be destroyed. Oh, they just... Oh, they gang up on him! Mango! Chrono Mango's getting whipped! <laughs> like, it's, it's a sad scene, but her choice of words. I make sure to talk to Marley first, because I don't want... You know, I don't want to go to another trial. You didn't talk to Marley and see what she wanted to do. Please stop. Please. Please stop. You'll break down! I'm stuck on him. Please stop. No, stop. These are my brothers. We have to fight them. We have to fight them. Are they going to put him in the trash heap? Mango! Mango! Now to take care of the intruders. You cocky boxes of bolts, you'll never get away with this. I wonder if he brought Luca if she could have did something. I should cyclone, what the hell am I doing with my life? 
Ooh. Never mind, who needs the cyclone? You can just whoop them. How much HP do you think these have? She's actually, she might have to heal herself. So I feel like if... I feel like if they all got five attacks off on her, that she would probably die. Notably, might have been good to have Luka here. Just because... Yeah, they're dead. Oh, they're not dead, huh? Yeah, they should be dead. Notably good to have Luca there because maybe you could like flame wave on them and just wipe out each row immediately. Oh what? They just playing volleyball with my ass. He's got the rocket punch. Is that a counter or is that just because you killed like the back row that they get that? Because they both Because whenever they get more than one turn, you should always look at if they actually get a counter or not. Because the rocket punch looks like one of their regular attacks. Wait, oh, self-destruct. I guess you're just supposed to kill them together. Wait, oh, that wasn't a self-destruct. Holy shit. He's dead, though. That hurt. Good XP. Good cash. Level up. Mango! They trashed him! Wah. Wow. <laughs> what should we do? Oh, that's her. <laughs> What should we do? Mango just got creamed. Chrono, let's take him back to Luca. I just take us out of here. Cool. Poor Mango. Can you repair me? I will say the right voice for a sec. Shh, don't talk. No more words, just feelings. You are trying to save our world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. I guess they were able to open the door too. That's good. Like, they didn't actually cut away to it, so I'm surprised. Anyway, Mango, what are you gonna do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? Yeah, I mean, what plans do you have for the future? Luca, no one has ever asked me that before. The robot is learning what it is to be human. Good morning. Mango, you're alright. Luca, you're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I've made up my mind. I want to go with you. Pardon? There's nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. Let's go! The gate's up ahead. Oh, we just walk in? Wait, what? Hang on to your shorts. I don't get a chance for the- I don't get a, a choice? Maybe I wanted to go to the sewer. Maybe I missed out on some super secret stuff. So I didn't go back to the sewer. Hopefully we can come back. Oh, what the hell is this? Where are we? that sound? You see who's sleeping? Ah, more guests. What do you mean, guests? And where are we? Why, this is the end of time, of course. All lost travelers in time wind up here. Now, where are you from? We're from Guardia Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space-time coordinate of least resistance, here. Disturbances in the space-time continuum have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means one of us has to remain here. Stay here? Alone? It is pretty bleak here. But not to worry. All time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish. 
But you can never travel in groups greater than three. So, one of us must stay. Who would it be, Chrono? Oh, gosh. I really want to leave the robot. But Luca's, like, severely undergeared right now. Oh, but we did find her a weapon. So we just need to get some armors. I mean, this is fine. Please come for me whenever you need me. So there you have it. Don't forget, press the Y button to switch party members. How do we get back to our time? You see those lovely pillars of light? Those hook you up to different eras. Once you've been through a gate, you can always use it to come here. To use a gate from here, step into the light and press the A button. But be, or yeah, but beware the gate which leads from that bucket. The bucket? Let's... Which one's the bucket? That, the one on the right looks like a bucket. Yeah, it's a bucket. So what's this then? Probably healing? Yeah. Let's save and... Let's really think about this. Because we just got a lot of information. This is obviously a lot of story info. But then also they kind of explain the gameplay mechanics, why you can't have a giant party walking around, you know? So I guess this is a hub. We're not supposed to touch that. There's this way down here. There's this up here. Oh, I was going to talk to you. I was just exploring, bro. Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. As my voice cracks. Okay, fine. I guess. What's this thing? What are you looking at? I'm Specchio, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Weak. I see. Let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You are strong of will. That's why the old one lets you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic except wizards. But you have it. Determination. Er, determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four groups. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. That's interesting. The fourth one's interesting. Because you'd assume, like, earth but it's just Shadow. You with the punk hairdo. You're lightning. The one with the ponytails is water. Or the ponytail. The one with goofy glasses is fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Think magic, and starting from the door, walk counter or walk clockwise along the wall of my room three times. Don't lose track now. It said walk. Very good. Ipso facto, minimo, magico. Chrono learns to use magic. Oh, so there's magic and techniques? Marley learns to use magic. Luca learns to use magic. So, fortify with magic. You want to try it out? All right. Maybe he's gonna kick our ass, but I mean, we get to use magic now. Gosh. Like this her fire looks like her flame to us, actually. Oh shit, I should actually Why are you ganging up on her? Oh you ass. If he wipes us, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> it seems like just a friendly fight. I mean the music is so is so chill, right? Enough. 
Yes, yes. Nope. He's powering up, Chrono. Oh, he reflects. What a dick. Oh, wait, no, I guess he hit me first. Maybe he counters. Oh, shit. Like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to beat him. And I really don't want to, like, pump items into this, so... Oh, she did it. Alright. Arr! That was most embarrassing. Humph. Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. Special refresher set. One magic tab. Ooh, I guess that goodies? I am the master of war. Whew, sometimes I scare myself. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. Alright, so when we get another person, we'll bring the, uh... We'll bring the robot and the other person, because I don't... Maybe he's Shadow, since he didn't have an element before. Well, well. People who live long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now, I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first, you need to return to your era. And you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that which must be changed. That stuttered. Stop by whenever you're in the area. Okay. Let's heal up. See, I thought about leaving the robot for one, it doesn't have emotions, two. Like, he just power down, right? What is this, though? That gate leads to 1999 AD, at least to the day of Lavos. Oh, shit. Go there only if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you leave this mortal coil. Do you fight Lavos? Is that what happens? There's nothing here. So I guess we'll... Screw with that later. Alright. We came in the middle one, so which one's ours? It's probably gonna tell us, right? Oh, shit. Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC. And this is Protodome. This is our time. I'm surprised there isn't one to go to 600 AD. And we could probably find it from through here, but that's kind of what I was expecting. There's a lot of information to digest. Alright, we're back in our time, but this doesn't look like our spot. They come out of a fucking closet. Or a cupboard. Hey, did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here! I guess this is a closet. Who do you think you are, coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram! I'm still pretty tired, so I'm reading slowly. I apologize. Wait a sec. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the, of the Mystics. Who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Alright, so, cave, west mountains. Thanks. Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. They don't call them monsters, they're mystics. That's interesting. Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is, forgive and forget. But not many seem to agree with me. Alright, thank you. This is interesting because we have the magic tab. I don't know if I want to give it to Chrono, though. Because Chrono's not going to use a lot of magic. So it's like, who's going to use more magic? Probably Marley. Who am I going to keep in the party more, too? Can I see where their magic stat is? Oh, it's right there. 9, 17, 18. So they're both... These are mage characters. I forgot to equip her uh, plasma gun too. It's a big upgrade. Catching up to Marlene damage. <sighs> 18, 17. I guess we'll hold on to it for right now. One of these two is probably going to get it, but I'm going to see who gets some cooler magic first. I mean, the obvious one here is for the, the cure upgrade. So I might still do it. Not sure. It's hard to tell. Like, this is a really tough choice. I'm just gonna wait. How does magic work, though? I don't like that it shares a slot with tech. But you can't really do anything about that. This seems like two times damage. It seems like it's just an auto crit if crits did double damage. I think crits do a little more than two times damage. I could be wrong. 
Okay, what are you learning? Oh, cure, so she's getting more magic. I guess it's good that we learned it, because it's not like it's... The points don't seem proactive. Napalm. Hey, because, like, she gets this. Oh, there's one... There's probably... I'm assuming fire does more, since it's single target. So this will be interesting. Maybe you get lightning tech, or not lightning, but like magic techs too. Yeah, you know, the uh, the magic tech armor. I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about anything this episode. It's just been a lot of front-loaded story, which isn't bad, but definitely cool. All right, so we're not allowed to. All right, so this is west. These are the mountains. Oh, Melchior. We'll see him in a minute. I really want to talk to these people. There's a weird crystal up here. What is this? Is he going to tell me? Forest runes. So you have forest runes. You have nothing really up here. Notably, can't go into the forest. So you have forest runes, this village, this thing in the center. It's telling me to go there. Let's check out the... Nothing here to sell to humans. Get out of here. You know it all humans, teach them a lesson, boss. Oh, I wanted the, the stuff. Fuck you, Omnicrone. Oh, what the heck? I guess we're fighting for items. They can't even hit us. We're just too strong. Too strong. We dead. We killed your boy. Now sell us the stuff. They got the boss! Beasts! Alright, I'll sell something to you. Why did it have to come to that? Like, why couldn't you just give it to me before? We got another load sword to sell. I'll sell this too. Just selling all our stuff. Bring you like all these comments like you sold all the stuff that you can do all the stuff later it's like ah this has to have a drawback 1.5 times hit on MG enemies oh it costs so much money I can't afford this these items are super strong though Like, they're almost double the effectiveness of everything we have right now. Full tonic. Oh well. Ha, you think I'm gonna cut my prices for a human? Alright, dick. I guess it's not worth looking in the other stuff. We probably should, huh? Elder's house. We have one more thing, right? The inn. There's probably be more fights. Let's go see Melchior, actually. We'll see if he sells us some equipment. More load swords, right? Somebody's gonna be here, instead of the fair. Yeah. What's up, bro? Ah, hello. Can I interest you in a weapon? Yes, I'd like to buy one. Oh, alright. So we got some more manageable upgrades. Magic plus two. We already found these. Random stop on machines. That's interesting. Hammer arm. Titan Vest, we should buy two. Oh, tonics are hella cheap. Buying a bunch of those. These actually don't matter anymore. I just realized, because our HP is already getting high. So they don't matter, it's mid tonics we want. Let's buy a couple. Let's buy some more. We'll buy the red katana. That's the only damage upgrade here. Weapons. 
If there weren't evil in this world... Yeah, if there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. I mean, you might be right. And this did nothing. We already get rid of it. We have no helmet upgrades, we can wear the Titan Vest. Titan Vest. No upgrades there. Let's sell the rest of our stuff. Let's sell all of our old gear. A lot of item management. The Bolt Sword pretty much paid for the new upgrade almost. Alright, let's see. Anything down here? Some on the bookshelf? Got the goodies? The hidden goodies? For a swordsmith, I don't see any, like, smithing stuff. Maybe he has some upstairs. This room, maybe this room's significant at some point. I can't tell. He's just kind of hanging out, right? I mean, he's got barrels. Maybe he does stuff with these, but, like, I don't see a forge. That's kind of my point. I thought there'd be more with him, too. Since he told us to visit him. On the, uh... That sword is an invention of mine. It's lightweight and handles superb, superbly. Huh. It's an invention of yours, I guess? I guess it can be, huh? So let's save. I guess let's talk to the last couple people here. And then see what we get. And we'll probably be done today, and then we'll check out the rest tomorrow. It's nice I get a nice break in between each thing, though. There's an item there. They're probably gonna get mad that we steal it. This work is brutal. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina Village's leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? Alright, so he's not pissed off at us. Notably, I mean, geographically, we know where we're at. We're on the eastern side of the world or something, because this continent's the east of our home continent. According to Melchior, because he said visit me in the east. Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestors' fame to boss us around. Well, time to seal. Got a speed tab, that is for Chrono. Logically, you'd probably put it on someone else, because, you know, it's like, well, maybe they need speed. No. Chrono. <laughs> he needs to be faster. Had a bit of a lag spike there, that was kind of scary. What's up, green dude? beast lives in a cave on the mountain in the west. Only magic attacks can harm it. Those who do not possess magic will find it difficult to sneak by. Well, I better get back to work and tidy up before Ozo 8 the 8th finds me. They just gave us, like, the best tip, huh? There's probably a boss that's physical immune, or, like, physical attack immune. Which also makes sense with uh, Chrono's sword having a boost of magic damage. Alright, we're gonna save our magic tabs. Oops. We have two, we're probably gonna put one on each. Not sure yet. Let's look at this. The room here for humans. Alright, I don't wanna fight. I just wanted my meal, scram. Ha! I hope those humans get what they deserve from Hecarin. <laughs> oh man, wish oh I know. I already know what I'm having for breakfast. I actually have some we have this barbecue chain called Dickies, which I'm sure someone's heard of. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment, Dickie sucks ass, bro, but I enjoy it. And I have some barbecue left over, so I'm gonna have a nice pulled pork lunch. So I'm actually pretty excited. Probably gonna do that when I start editing. I, I like my food. I'm not I'm not fat, but like I'm starting to get there. Especially when I get older because my metabolism starts slowing down. So I need to be more aware of what I'm doing. Chrono, what's that weird chanting? Is this Magus? The statue? They still pray to Magus? They still praise the Magus? These dudes look like Cybermen. Is this Cybermen or like Garlic Juniors? I can't remember what they're supposed to... Gotta brush up all my DVZ lore. Hut, Sir Magus. I was saying the same thing. 400 years have passed since Magus commanded the mystics and wage war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed! Well, 
So I guess Magus is trying to raise Lavos? But why does it take him 1400 years to do it? Yeah, we'll find out. As soon as Magus, Magus' creation, the mighty Lavos, awakens from his long sleep, the human race is doomed. Long ago, the almighty Magus brought forth the all-powerful Lavos. So we talked to both of the demons. So we talked to him, we need to talk to him. Awakens from his long sleep, the human race is doomed. I guess they all kind of say the same thing. So they're all praying to Magus. He's trying to awaken Lavos. But they're talking about how he didn't. Or does it just take Lavos that long to get his shit together? Alright, that was interesting. So we're gonna walk over here and save. Notably, no eight-way direction on the world map. Not that that really matters. Whew. I need a bit of a break, but I'm gonna keep going. But you guys won't even, I guess, notice, because I do these daily. So, oh, I guess this is considered the present. So next time, the mountain and whatever comes with that. So look forward to that, and I will see you later.